152 yards. Two on the hole, 120 yards behind them. Shooting the 222 today. Two decide to pull pitch and get the hell out of Dodge. 225 yards, there's two of them over there. Yeah, I can only see the one on the right, barely. I think I got him in there, he's 175 yards. There's a little bit of vegetation right in front of him. Sounded good, but I seen him run down the hole. 170. That sounded very good. Couldn't tell through the scope though. Had a little bit of right to left wind. I give it just a hair. Probably half a dog maybe at the most. I think it counted. And the vegetation is so tall right now. We've had so much rain. Really tough, tough to see the dogs. Once in a while you see their back moving around or just top of their head maybe. They stand up, you got them, they go down, they're toast. There's one in that white stuff over there. There he stood up and you can't even just see his head. And the camera's on, that's about 180 yards if I remember right. And another miss. There he is again. That one was not a miss. I don't think so. I think that one found home. Well, that tall grass, I have no idea where I'm hitting. That one, I know where I hit. Tough to see, but there's actually two of them there. Just to the low right of that thistle. A little vegetation might have to... Yeah, we can wing her. Seen something flying. That's probably... 
That's probably 200 yard. Last shot of the day, 186 yards and the wind has gone flat. My proper holdover should be a cakewalk. And he cakewalked right down the hole because I missed. All right, folks, there's my hangout for the day. One lone tree out here in the fence line. Just enough shade where a guy can uh, survive, you know. Herders 222, K10 Weaver. Seen that a couple weeks, uh, maybe a couple months ago I bought that. Stumbled across it. Uh, considering its age, I'd say it's in excellent condition. Uh, Hold zero good. 222. That's my herders. So you know that. I think I already just said that. The old sly dog. All my junk. Fits in the back pocket of that sly dog. This is where I'm at today. You know, I don't know what it is with these towns. That yellow is sweet clover. Everything that's not sweet clover, even just right down here in the bottom, uh, as little as five years ago, that was all Dogtown. All Dogtown. Way up over there, it's all, looks like it's dead. You can see the clover up there is just like a distinct line. That plum thicket right over there, I think it was two years ago, I sat on the fence over there by that big tree and shot gophers, dogs, right in front of them thickets. It's shrinking. Something's happening to them. You can't shoot them out, I know that. I've done this for so many years, there's no such thing. Mother Nature put them there, Mother Nature's taking them out. Anyway, take care, folks. Glad to have you along.